Oi, it's like I've had this before. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Gentleman, the latest Guy Ritchie gangster movie in the line of Guy Ritchie gangster films. Admittedly, this was actually really nice to see him return to the form that made him popular in the first place that gave him such acclaim with films like Lockstock, Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch, and even Rock and Roller. I actually really enjoy Rock and Roller, and when I saw that this movie was being made, I was kind of a little bit upset because I always wanted a sequel to Rock and Roller. Hell, they even teased it at the end of Rock and Roller, but apparently that movie made so little money that they didn't even bother to try it, which is unfortunate because that movie had a fantastic cast. This film also has a pretty good cast. However, everything in this movie, I would say, is the watered-down version of everything Richie has tried before. It's not entirely bad. The writing's really witty, the characters are kind of creative, there are some really funny elements in the film. However, there were so many moments in the film where I was like, okay, that's from Lockstock, okay, that's from Snatch, okay, that's from Rock and Roller. It's no real surprise that Richie has really kind of copied himself ever since Lockstock. That Snatch is essentially just a better version of Lockstock. He has tried to differentiate himself. He did prove himself with Sherlock Holmes movies. And I still think that Man From U.N.C.L.E. is actually pretty decent. I will defend that movie for a long time. That is probably his most stylish film. And I felt that all the style that he put into that movie is completely absent in this film. Something that Richie tried to do with Snatch and then with his subsequent films is that he always tried to have this little bit of artistic flair. Even in the film Devolver, which is him trying to be deep, but it don't work. It just doesn't work at all. Aside from Hugh Grant making a joke about the film aspect ratio and being on film grain, that's it. That is the only artistic style that there is in this entire film. Everything else is incredibly standard. There's this one little music video bit that's actually really damn funny, and that's probably the funniest part of the movie. But again, all these moments just kind of seem like they're half-assed. Now, I know that Richie does try with his movies, but I feel that this one is just such a watered-down version of everything he's done before that nothing Nothing comes across as fresh, nothing comes across as interesting. The story in itself is essentially a recap of the movie you are watching. This has been done obviously in many other films, the idea of starting near the end of the film and then kind of working your way back to it. However, just with how Hugh Grant is telling Charlie Hunnam the story, and then when the film does actually come to the present and then extend, it feels like you've watched an hour and a half of previously on, and the last 30 minutes are the actual movie that you paid to see. Again, this isn't a bad movie. It's not a bad experience, at least to say. It's just not an enjoyable film for me because I've seen this so many times before and done significantly better. If I were to rate this of all the Guy Ritchie's gangster films, it would be fourth, just above Devolver, and then with Lock, Sock, Snatch, and Rock and Roller being above it. Maybe if you hadn't seen any Guy Ritchie's movies before, you would have a different opinion to me, but because I had seen this before, I knew what to expect, and I got exactly what I knew was coming. That is a bit of an unfortunate circumstance for me. So in the end, I'm gonna give The Gentleman a 3 out of 7. It's not a bad movie, it's just not Ritchie's best, it's not one that's really gonna be memorable, and if this movie makes more money than Rock and Roller, and gets a sequel because they baited it the end. I'm gonna be a bit mad because I've been holding out for Rock and Roller 2 for way, way, way too long. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.